Welcome to the virtual office training. Today we will learn how to use macros in Microsoft Excel. Here is a Jan monthly sales report and Feb March. And we uh, calculate the form. Uh, we will insert the formula and format. Apply the format in this sheet, and I will apply same formula and format in Feb and March also. we have to record the macro first in this sheet then we apply this macro here feb and march as well just uh, go to the view and here is a option macros and click record macros in record macros type the macros macro name uh, i just type the monthly sales and give the shortcut key of macro here is a control just type uh, any key which uh, you can use for mac uh, run to run a macro i just type shift l control shift l and here is option this uh, uh, this macro will work this workbook new workbook and personal macro workbook i use personal macro workbook because Uh, i can apply to any sheet any workbook in my computer and click okay for recording and now we can uh, apply the format just go to the home and apply increase the size of heading and give the background red and uh, foreground color white and here is a head uh, column heading and i just select the background color and white foreground color and click bold and now apply the format here and i just insert the formula type is equal to quantity multiply by right and press enter and double click here for apply this formula in all record and now i just type the total and uh, i can use the auto sum formula here just click auto sum formula and press enter for total quantity and total amount we also use i also use the auto sum formula and press enter now select and click bold and uh, i can use these to center and now formatting and calculation has been done now go to the view and click macro and click stop recording now recording recording has been stopped now i want to apply this macro in this sheet just go to the view and click macro and click view macro there is a uh, uh, macro monthly sales and click run it will apply in your sheet in march and uh, i can also use the shortcut key control shift l and just type control shift l to run a macro now every calculation and formatting will apply in this sheet hope this tip will be very helpful for you thanks for watching